What's up everyone? In today's video I'm going to teach you how not to get scammed in DA. Most of this is pretty self-explanatory, but for those new to the trading game or just curious in general, this video should help. It's better to learn here than experience it in game the hard way. Mode of silence for those that got scammed in the past. Anyway, on to the video. First things first, never cross trade, as not only is this against the rules of Bannable, but it's also a surefire way of getting scammed easy. If you don't know what cross trading is, it's when you trade amongst other games or with real life cash, which is obviously something you don't want to do. For example, uh, someone's like, I'm trading a Vajriki for a special warden in Creatures of Scenaria. What they expect you to do is you give them the item in DA and then go over to Creatures of Scenario so that they can trade you the item that they promised, but 9 out of 10 times, not only will they scam you and just never join you and probably delete you, but like I said before, it is against the rules and bannable, so just don't do it. Number two, never do first trades. For example, someone asks you to give them a dragon first, and in return, they'll give you a dragon after the trade. Not only does this not make sense, but it's a pretty obvious scam. The game is set up so that two people trade at once so that both items are swapped, or multiple items. So pretty much don't do this, this is kind of stupid. <laughs> that and don't do double trades. Double trades are where somebody gives you nine of one item, they give you nothing or one item, and then you trade again, you give them more items because nine is the max, and then they give you the most expensive version of what you said that you were going to trade for. Usually that leads in a scam, and that is also, I hate to admit it, how my friend and I got scammed a couple of years ago. Never again. <laughs> Never again. Now, you can also use coins for quote-unquote trading, whereas you would spend coins either in the player market or here to buy items, accessories, or dragons. Now, in the game they have a specified area specifically for that, the Dragon Undercity, and here is the Dragon Auction. Each dragon has their own worth, depending on the dragon, color, mutations, etc. Before blindly buying dragons, make sure you know the value. You can ask people in the official Discord, which I will link in the description below as well as my own Discord group. If you don't have access to Discord, you can try asking fellow players in the chat. Though, don't always go by what one player says, try to get the opinion of multiple people and go by the average price. Like, if one person does like, oh, well that dragon's a million coins, and like 10 other players say it's like 600k coins, uh, best bet is the person who said it's a million coins either doesn't know values, knows old values, or is trying to scam you out of money. Now that down there was how you sell dragons. Here is how you would sell items, like potions and accessories, and... In other words, it's pretty much essentially the same idea here. If you want to know the value of items, ask players, ask in the Discord to see what things are worth, because sometimes people will ridiculously price stuff in here or try to scam players out of things being like, oh, well, this is actually this price and this is really cheap, but in reality it's not. But while we're in the player market, there is one method that people use when trading and it's kind of an iffy method. I don't normally use it, and I would advise against it unless this person is a trusted trader. But the PE method, for those who don't know, is someone will sell like a single random item for said price of whatever they're selling. So it'll be like, oh, I don't know, one grape for 100k. And that's what they sell it for. And then when said player buys it and they confirm you bought it, they will then trade you the dragon. Now people usually do this because they want to guarantee that they get the dragon instead of ha risking losing it in the auction or like they have a baby dragon don't want to raise it and it's easier just to trade it this way. But like I said, do not trade with someone you don't trust. I mean someone you have to really trust or is trusted by the community as somebody you want to trade with. Not someone you've been friends with for two days and you're like, oh I really trust this person. No. No, you really have to know somebody or they have a good stand-in with the rest of the community. Also, make sure if you do methods like this, like the semi-dangerous methods, make sure you always, always record the trade and like the chat before. So if you do get scammed, you have proof of being scammed and there's a chance that you can get your scammed out items returned to you. Not saying it's always 100%, but it's better safe than sorry. 
Also, I do see players constantly saying that they're new and uh, they want a free dragon or they were scammed and want free dragons. Now, I don't mind being nice and helping them out if that truly was the case, but normally I don't give them anything too crazy. I'll give them like um, low events or world dragons because if you were scammed out of everything, then you would be grateful just to have something. Now, if you do that and they're like, nah, I don't want that dragon, I want something better, then clearly they're just looking for a handout and they probably most likely weren't actually scammed or they're not even new. Or they are new and they just hopped in the game and want to get the best stuff right away, which honestly is kind of, kind of sad. Now, I'm sure players will constantly keep finding new ways to scam people or if I miss some. With what I said in this video, it shouldn't be that hard to pick out what's a scam and what's not. As long as you stick with what was intended in the game, you should be fine. And by intended, I mean the way trading is actually meant to be done, or the way selling items is meant to be done, and they keep improving it, which they did mention that they were gonna... Maybe. This isn't a guarantee. This was just a thought. That they were gonna potentially make it that you can sell dragons like in the player market for a set price, just kind of have it in there. Or something I don't know I saw something a long time ago maybe it was scrapped who knows but that would be nice but I wish you luck on trading I hope none of you get scammed and with that I'll see you in the next video goodbye